Hey, what's up, world, and welcome to another Russell Ones. Now, I know I've been putting out a lot of these lately, but I mean, can you blame me? It's a, it's been a lot to talk about when it comes to WWE, but um, I wanted to talk more about, and I put out <laughs> a few videos talking about the Rock Roman thing and everything else, but I kind of wanted to elaborate a little bit on that since uh, Raw is off. And I was kind of waiting to talk about some more things uh, regarding that and just trying to look at it from a different uh, aspect. Uh, you've seen my first initial video that I put out right after like Friday night uh, Smackdown, which was basically a rant because I just ranted for like a good 30 plus minutes, like a little over 30 minutes. And um it's like I still have the same sentiments. Now, I've talked to different people and, you know, you're going to have your set of people that look more into it and is kind of like just on my like, you know, in my mind frame. Uh, and then you're going to have people that's all for it. That's people that's just, you know, taking it, taking going with the punches. Uh, and then you got people that's just trying to like just don't really look at it as anything to worry about. And, you know, I kind of look at it as, yeah, you don't have to worry about it. I mean, whatever is going to happen is going to happen. It's nothing that we're really going to be able to change. If they want Rock and Roman at WrestleMania, it's going to happen. Doesn't mean that it's less stupid. Doesn't mean that, uh, uh, that makes a person less selfish. But if they're going, if it's going to happen, it's going to happen. And so I've been hearing lately about possibly it being a work. Now, as of today, <laughs> as of just today, whenever you're watching this, um, there has been no official word about like cementing these matches. Of course, you know, certain matches is going to happen. You know, Ro uh, Roman Reigns is going to defend his title, whether it's going to be against The Rock or if they're going to go back to Cody. Uh, Seth Rollins is going to defend his title. We don't know against who. It may end up being against Cody or it may end up being against McIntyre or both, you know, or Gunther. Bailey, EO Sky, that match is going to happen. But as far as The Rock and Roman, it hasn't been officially put down like they haven't officially just announced that this is gonna happen all we got was friday night him and the rock face to face and roman lifting up his title with the wrestlemania sign to be seen and essentially like you're looking at everything that's that's literally what they're saying they're saying it without saying it and with cody talking about that he's going to take everything from roman but not at wrestlemania it's like you know, so it, it's kind of saying it without saying it. They just haven't truly made it official. And um, we're going to get notice or it's going to get made official this Thursday. They're going to be doing a press conference in uh, in Las Vegas. And um, we're going to find out then whether they're going to keep forward with their plans with the Rock and Roman or if they're going to alter it and switch it back to Cody and Roman or Maybe even possibly have like a triple threat match, which I'm not a fan of. But if it gets Cody in the main event at WrestleMania and is able to win, I'm, I, I'm perfectly fine with it. If that's the only option that we can have instead of just having a one on one with Cody and Roman, I'm totally down with it. Totally down for it. Because a lot of the reactions online have been crazy. We have the poor Cody uh, hashtags right when it happened. But ever since then, we've been having a we want Cody hashtag just flooding like X. And so ever since then, there has been a comeback because you're going to have people that's going to look at it. Like I said, where they're going to roll with the punches, they're going to be down with it. And I'm not saying and I, and I keep saying it. I'm not saying that. The Rock and Roman isn't wanted. I'm not saying that it's not a moneymaker match because both of those things are true. It is a moneymaker match as well as people want it. It's just the situation. There's a time and place for everything. At WrestleMania, it's not the time and place for that. And so, um, 
a lot of the reactions have been going crazy. People have been flooding the YouTube channel. Um, it's been, I think, over, over half a million uh, dislikes on the video. I think they tried to re-upload it and cut out certain things. And it's just, people are just going crazy over this. And, you know, it's, it's people that's going to be on the side, which I know that it is. I've I seen something lately where John Cena is all for the Rock versus Roman. So there's people on either side. And it, it just to me, it, it's like, how can you look at this logically and think that this is the best route to go? You may want to see. I want to see. This. Like, I even said it in my video. Like, I had chills looking at the rock and roman face to face but it was quickly this just thrown out because of the fact of yeah this all comes at a price and from what we understood what came out lately is that this was always part of the rocks uh deal that when he got signed on to be uh board of directors at tko that was part of it. He had to hit certain milestones. Uh, one of them was in-ring action. And definitely one of them was going against Roman. I don't even know if it would be WrestleMania, but going against Roman. And so this match was always in the cards. And we always knew that. We knew that, that they were trying to get that done for years. Especially last year. But it just didn't go through. It just wasn't until he got this power that he inserted himself in the main event where he don't belong <laughs> and uh it, it's it's and, and so from that this happened before the royal rumble so it, it it begs the question why in the hell did cody rose win the royal rumble they had this man point at roman reigns Basically saying that yeah, I'm coming for you. Press conference right after Mania. I mean, right after the Rumble. Saying that, like, y'all know who I'm going for. Like, it ain't even no question. <laughs> you know? And it's like, why y'all have this man do all of that if you're not going to give him the match that the story is, like, forging the path for him to go to? Like... Why all that? And one of the things that is so crazy is that they're setting themselves up to literally not get the reaction. With The Rock, I'm pretty sure that I feel like The Rock is to the point where he's gotten a, a delusion of like who and what he is. Back then, Rock was crazy. Everyone loved The Rock. But now... And like I've said in my videos is that we got a crack and the crack is just getting bigger. Now we're starting to see the flaws in The Rock ever since he was um, with uh, Warner Brothers doing the Black Adam thing and all the ruckus that he caused over there. And then lately, even before this, the whole thing with uh, 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 Oprah in Hawaii and he wasn't even shown in the best light then. And then now this happened. It's not really showing him in the best light. And you can take one thing, it's like, okay, cool, you know, he had that whole thing with Warner Brothers, cool, whatever. But when you're doing one thing after another, it starts to form a pattern. And now we're starting to see that Dwayne The Rock Johnson isn't the guy that you want him to be. Because, I mean, I mean, it's even telling in his movies that's not doing really well. So I'm pretty sure that that's... One of the main components as to why he put himself in TKO, why he's in the position that he's in, why he wanted to do this, because he knows that he, he he's going to make money from Hollywood, but his movies are not hitting the way that they hit. So he needs a place where he knows that he's wanted. And so it's, it's, it's not really showing this man in the best light. And I'm just not really... <laughs> it, it's, it's just, I don't know, man. It, it's one of those things where if he wants to be looked at in a certain particular way, this is not the way to do it. We want this match, just not here. When they showed an ad over the weekend at a house show, all like from what I understood, they booed, the, they booed it. 
because they know that they don't want to see this. They want to see Cody finish his story. And then even tonight um, for Raw, because I'm recording this, uh, you know, at later night. Anyway, they were chanting Rocky sucks. <laughs> and, and, and it's so nuts that WWE now is, I guess you could say, claiming that this was all part of the plan. That The Rock inserting himself in there and getting all this heat and everything else was part of the plan. Because there's, we can't argue with the fact that they wanted to get us away from thinking about Vincent Mann and everything that was happening. And that this was the way to do it. They succeeded. I'm pretty sure that they wasn't expecting the overwhelming hate for this decision, but successful nonetheless, you know, um, but it doesn't, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure The Rock doesn't want to be looked at in this type of light. He already has some stuff that, like I said, made him look bad. Now, this is going to get people against him. This is not going to get people on his side because if you have it in Philly, well, that's where WrestleMania is going to be. That's one of those cities that's just like Chicago that has a lot of people, like everybody is, they're going to they're going to display their hate, their love, all that stuff. They're going to be very vocal. So you run the risk of every time The Rock comes out, you're hearing Rocky sucks, booze all over the place, all these different chants. We want Cody. You have you're running the risk of them hijacking the show where you have Roman versus uh Rock. And all you hear is booze. When The Rock hits Roman, you hear a boo. You hear Roman, you see Roman hit The Rock, you hear a cheer. It's not going to play out the way that they want to play out. The Rock is going to be booed like the face, like the uh, heel. And Roman is going to be cheered like the face, even though it's reversed. The Rock is supposed to be the face and Roman is supposed to be the heel. They run the risk of things not going the way that they want to. And... Looking at this as all a plan to get Cody over way more than what he is. Basically doing the Daniel Bryan effect or whatnot. So it's, it's put out there that possibly this is a work. And it possibly can be. We This could possibly be, be like a mastermind uh, thing that Triple H, Raw, TKO all came up with. Just to get people in a frenzy, to forget about triple, uh, forget about Vince and all the stuff that he did. The only thing about that is that it's a it's it doesn't make sense. It's one of the worst plans that they could have came up with. For one thing, Cody, when you compare it to Daniel Bryan, Daniel Bryan had everything taken away from him. Daniel Bryan had his back against the wall. He wasn't even in the Royal Rumble. People were mad that he wasn't in the Royal Rumble. And then they had to work to it. And, 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 and it's like one of those things that I, I believe the uh, like real life imitated the art. They didn't feel like, I feel like in real life, they did not want to push Daniel Bryan. But because of the love that he received all throughout the fandom that they worked it into the storyline and pushed them the way that they did. With Cody Rhodes, they kept him strong. Damn that he's basically, besides Roman, been the face of the company. They've given everything to him. He's won two straight back-to-back -back Royal Rumbles in a row to headline WrestleMania. He has a story that they didn't kept him so strong all the way through that. Even had him win it twice out of two out of three times against Brock Lesnar. And it's like you can only compare it just because of the love that the fans have for him and want to see him at WrestleMania and win the championship. Because they know in their hearts that they've been investing all this time and that they want to see that. But you that's that's as far as you can go as comparing it to Daniel Bryan. 
You may you let this guy get this far, like CM Punk said. Right when you at that finish line, here comes a way bigger star that's literally about to cut you off, and that is Dwayne The Rock Johnson. So he's already had the fans behind him. He never lost the fans. Ever since he lost the match at WrestleMania last year, he never lost the fans. That was one of the big questions coming out of WrestleMania last year was Roman, like, I mean, was uh, Cody going to lose the backing of the fans? Were the fans going to sour on him? And it's not necessarily because of him. It's necessarily basically because of the booking, you know? But... The fans never soured on him. They kept him strong. The fans stayed behind him because they knew that this was all going to come to a head. It was going to come full circle. He was going to get his redemption and he was going to finish his story. So the fans never left him. So it's not even a thing of getting him higher than what he was. It's like, why? There's no point. Now, if the fans soured on him, then yeah, I could see. But... Yeah, he's going to gain more sympathy, more love, but he didn't need that help. And I, I feel like this is one of those things where it wasn't, and WWE is just trying to take credit for it. It's like if you go to somebody's house, clean, it, the house looks perfect, it's clean, Every, there's no stain, you can eat right off the floor. And WWE just comes in, dumps all this food, dog shit all over the floor and everything else, all on the walls and everything else, and fucks it all up. Get you all mad, like, oh, yeah, you you fucked this up. But then it'll be like, I just wanted to, I did this for that reason. And then they clean it all up, clean it to where it looks just like it did before. And then tells you that, hey, you would have to uh, be happy that I cleaned this up I, I because I made it look like how it was before. But you're the one who made the mess. So, of course, you're going to clean it up. It, it, it's, it, it makes no sense. This guy hasn't lost the fandom. He hasn't lost the love and support. So there's no reason as to why it would be a work or why they would have to do this to get sympathy for Cody. There's no reason. He won the Royal Rumble. He already had his path laid out before even then, and especially now to Royal, to WrestleMania, to Roman Reigns, to win the title. So that's why it's, it's just, it doesn't make sense. This is all a power play with The Rock. He is essentially uh, Vince's equivalent. <laughs> not in all sense. Hopefully not. But when you're looking at Vince, a lot of times when he was in creative, he had stuff done the way he wanted to do. Basically, they were writing for an audience of one, which was Vince. And what was a lot of the stories that you would hear when Vince was in charge? That... A lot of times they will have the whole show written for Raw and everything else. He'll come that same day, that Monday, that Raw is supposed to like come on later on that night. He will scrap everything for Raw. Maybe even before. Maybe it wasn't even the same day. But let's say the weekend leading up to Raw. He'll scrap the whole script for Raw and have them rewrite it because he didn't like it. What does that sound like? This sounds like The Rock right now, right? There was a storyline, there was a story, everything crafted all the way up to there. And then he comes in, scraps it, like, let's go ahead and rewrite this. Let's just forget everything that y'all been doing and let's rewrite this. That's literally, it, it sounds like Vince to me. This guy, Dwayne Rod Johnson, is only worried about himself. He, he doesn't look at what has been done. And this is a guy that I feel has not looked at the product, that he doesn't keep up with what's, ha what's happening in WWE on like a daily basis. He doesn't watch the show. Um, he probably keeps up with certain things just enough to where he can go off of. But he doesn't watch the show every week. He doesn't like know this. And it's telling because when you look at some years back when Roman, when he came out to help Roman Reigns get cheers and he was looking confused why everybody was booing him. 
He wasn't watching the product because if he did, he wouldn't understand. He would understand why his cousin was being booed in. And then he comes in now, and I'm pretty sure that he's th sitting there wondering, like, why ain't everyone loving me? Because you have worn out with the fans. People still love The Rock. Don't get me wrong. Charisma, handsome guy. He has the physique that a lot of guys, even my age and younger, wish they would have at, not even at his age, but at our age. And he's a, a multi-millionaire. Shit, damn near close to being a billionaire. Like, he's the guy that a lot of guys would want to be. A lot of women would want to be with. But I feel like his his uh, his celebrity is wearing thin with a lot of fans. That's essentially what it is. And that's why a lot of his movies aren't doing well because they're realizing that The Rock is just playing the same character. The Rock can't lose. The Rock has it in his contract that, you know, he can't lose a fight. So what's the fucking point of doing that? Then he pulls some shit that he did with Warner Brothers. Did the shit with um, Oprah. Now he's doing the shit with TKO and WWE. It's like... He it, it seemed like he doesn't really have too much going on that's successful. So this is where he feels like he'll be loved. And I'm pretty sure that he's very confused at the reason as to why people are saying Rocky sucks. Because he thinks that everyone is supposed to love him. He thinks that he comes back and people are just supposed to just fall in line. Like, oh, yeah, we love the rock. Yeah. If you did this correctly, if you went at Roman before and got him over there's no benefit for the rock winning the title there's no benefit for the rock becoming the head of the table that's and even that's debatable but the person that needs the win between him and roman is roman that's the person that needs it the Rock don't need it. The Rock had all his champions. Yeah, he, he, he's gotten to this point because he did a lot in wrestling. The Rock doesn't need it. Roman needs it. They've already pushed him up to this point. So what's the point of beating a man that has been here, well, barely, but more than you have, and winning the title from this man when no one else could? Like, you couldn't fight Superman on the big screen, now you're going to try to fight the man with the Superman punch on the small screen. It, it's one of those things where The Rock needs to get over himself. The Rock needs to just step back, see the storyline that's playing out with him and Cody, with Roman and Cody, and just let that play out. And then have your, your, your time with, with Roman. Then everybody will be on board. At this point, no. Because I guarantee you, every single time The Rock comes out, you're going to hear boobs. And when we go to WrestleMania, you're going to hear, Rocky sucks. We want Cody. We're going to hear a lot of stuff. Like, they're going to crap on that match. Roman is going to get cheered. He's going to be the babyface. He's the heel that's going to be treated like the babyface. Your left babyface is going to be treated like the heel. Now... I heard other things as well as maybe they're they possibly might end up going to triple threat. They might do rock being like the villain or whatever. All this stuff is just it's stupid. It's just and I've heard and I've talked to other people that have other ideas on how to get to Cody and Roman at WrestleMania. It's like why go through hoops to get somewhere where you have a straight shot to? I mean if you were five blocks away from like a person's house and all you had to do is just go straight down. That's it. Just go from point A to point B. Why would you go through the whole alphabet just to get to point B? That's like you going this way and then turning back, going around this way, going this way, going that way, then coming back and then going down that way just to get to that person's house. You have a straight shot to Roman. Why not do it that way? And the thing is, it's like, we didn't need this to happen in order for us to get away from the Vince thing. That's going to be there. That's still ongoing. 
that's not going to go away just because, oh, yeah, man, we want Cody and you stole his spot. It's still going to be there. There's still more evidence coming out or more details and stuff coming out over like last week all the way leading up to now. So it, it, it's like there's no reason for them to have done this. WWE, this ain't a work. I believe that with my heart and soul. They didn't plan for this to happen. And even if they did, I'm pretty sure that they ain't planning it for it to go this heavy. It's it's crazy. And with Rock being up in here, it literally downgrades a lot of people. It literally affects not only Cody. It affects Seth. It affects Drew McIntyre. It affects even his cousin. Because what is he benefiting from it from losing to you? Like you push for the match. Now you pushing to win? The title and both titles from him? What is he going to do after that? Why? What is it benefiting him? It's, it's nuts. I don't understand it. This is a guy who wants to do what's best for business, but it's not there. And one of the things that if it goes forward with the Rock and Roman at WrestleMania, what are we doing in Elimination Chamber? There's nothing for... Anybody to do it as far as the male as far as the men goes What are they doing that for the elimination chamber? Unless they just plan on just making it the women's and that's it There's nothing else for the men to do to fight for unless they're gonna do one for Gunther's title or um, uh, What's his name? Um, Logan Paul's title Or maybe the tag team titles. I don't know but if Rock and Roman is going to be at WrestleMania, Seth and Cody is going to be at WrestleMania, night one and night two, then what is the what is the men's elimination chamber for? Are we even going to have a men's elimination chamber? It, it, it's, it, it affects everything. And that's why I said this is bad for business. It, it really affects everything. Now, it was another uh, thing that came out and it basically just saying that The Rock possibly is going to be here more than full time probably not as much as like a, a Seth Rollins or Cody every single week but he's going to be here more often it still trickles back to he's not going to be here every week he's not going to have matches on Raw even if he is the champion he's just going to be the champion he's going to come in probably make a promo and that's it why do we need another champion like that? We already got Roman Reigns like that. If you want another champion like that, just keep the title on Roman Reigns. Either way, Rock and Roman, whoever wins that, with the title on the line, we, we all lose. Because we're going to have a part-timer. There's no reason for The Rock to be there every single week. And, and that's why I say, he definitely... Should not be in the main event. And it should not be for the title. It's nuts. And then I know I'm, I'm echoing a lot of sentiments that a lot of people say it. It renders the Royal Rumble event useless. At least for this year. And I guess it sets the principle for like the years to come. Because it's like I won the Royal Rumble. I get to choose whatever champion I want to choose. But now you're telling me that I can't choose the champion that I want to choose? You're telling me that I got to give up my spot? <laughs> then what's the point of it? You might as well just have it Royal Rumble uh, and you're literally vying for one particular title. And then have the other title specifically for the other title. Or well, you know, the other match, uh, Elimination Chamber for the other title. There's, it, it, it makes it look crazy, you know, and this whole thing is just a mess. Now, they can clean up. It's not too late. I thought that they might do it on Raw. They didn't. Honestly, it wasn't really too much said about that. But, I mean, it's not too late. 
I, I hate that they had Cody give away his spot. That was one of the worst things you could have done. You could have still had it up in the air. Or if he wanted to do it. But hey, I mean, they can always turn it around and re re uh re do like you know recorrect themselves <laughs> but at this point it's like if they're going on with like roman versus uh rock I, at this point i don't think anybody really gonna care i don't think it's gonna be to the point where people ain't gonna watch it i don't think it's gonna be where people are gonna like give up their tickets or anything but i feel like a lot of people going into it isn't gonna care like, I'm not interested in seeing Cody versus Seth. It may end up being a really good match, but I don't really care too much for it. You know, one of the main draws, even without Rock being a part of it, was Cody versus Roman. That is a money-making match. They've built him up to this point, him and Roman, to be a money-making match. And... At this point, it's like, it's crazy, man. I don't know. But WWE is crazy. Rock is crazy. And this whole situation is crazy. Um, maybe later on, uh, after the press conference, if this is going to be continuous, then, I don't know, I probably might come up with, like, how they can do it. But there's, there's only a certain way as far as, like, who win between Rock and Roman? I mean, like, I, I think I've already talked about, like, how it would go. It's it just, it's nuts. I don't know. It, it's still disappointing. I don't know. I, I, I kind of hate it. <laughs> I hate it a lot. I am with the uh, whole, uh, we want Cody. And like I said before, I don't understand it, how people can really think that the Rock versus Roman is, like, the better idea. Because it's, it's simply, it's not. It says a lot about the guy and it just yeah we need to we need to do something different but in any case that has been this episode of Russell one so I'd like to thank you guys for joining me and uh, if you like what you've heard you like what you've seen go ahead give me a thumbs up subscribe if you're not and hit that notification bell because it really helps me out and I will catch you guys on the next one so peace out stay safe and let's all pray that Cody gets to finish his story at WrestleMania.